box so before starting the three crows can candlestick pattern let me explain you more about something called two crows pattern upside gap true crow patterns actually so three crow candlestick pattern is nothing but the extension of upside gap two crow patterns so that's why it's very important to first start this one and give introduction about this one because this is a two candlestick pattern and i had not uh, uh, given the lecture on this candlestick within the two candlestick module because this is somewhat related to uh, three black crows means in three pattern a candlestick pattern before starting the three black crows so let's, start, let's uh, start with this from six patterns okay so when this pattern occur so this pattern patterns occurs in a clear uptrend there would be a clear uptrend okay and after that you will see there would be a kind of spinning top will happen spinning top will be formed spinning top in the sense what is spinning top the uh, candles with the smaller bodies okay or there is wicks larger wicks could be there but the body should be smaller those candles okay and that candle will open gap up and the second candle okay the main agenda of the second candle is important uh, i can see the second candle in two ways second candle would be either engulfing or closes below the previous close so see what is the red candles close this spinning top close will be this line right open at top and close will be at the bottom so this is the close so next candle close should be below this okay so if it is an engulfing candle second candle is engulfing candle then 100 percent sure its close will be below this okay or possibly it's not an engulfing candle but the second candle is somehow closing closing below this okay the previous close then we can say this is a two crow pattern okay or upside gap two crow patterns okay so this upside gap two crow patterns what happens is this is a bearish reversal signal so in the next day candle when it's gap up opening the next day candle is opening gap up a bit you may take an entry over there and here the important thing is this is engulfed or this is closed these all things we are comparing body to body okay so this candles body means the body lower portion and this candles lower portion okay we are comparing so this second candles lower portion or the close will be below this or we can see another word is engulfing and if you find this such patterns on any resistance or any supply area okay so in those areas probability will be more they work better so let me quickly give an example of same pattern appear after another. you can see there is a gap of opening of this candle though this is not angles but the clue is below this and you can see there is a downward movement let me show you in the chart directly so i found it this pattern that's why i marked it for you you can see this pattern right? you can see there was a uptrend there was a uptrend and uptrend see what happened there there was this candle big pattern So let's start with triple 
uh, candlestick pattern again which is uh, three black crows so as the name suggests right three black crows is what it's it's same like the upside gap to crows pattern which we had gone through so here what happens is rather than two candles gap down opening there would be three candles confirmation we are taking though this is a late entry but this is a more confirmed entry so as the Japanese said, right, three black crows means a bad news is about to come. Bad news have the wings. This means, okay. So the bad news is about to come means and the tall tree three crows are sitting and probably the price goes down. So let me quickly show you the same thing is there rather than two candles. We are using three candles. Your entry should be below this candle. Okay, and you will put your stop loss above this candle, this candle stop. And let me show you the live demonstration. So here in the chart, you can see today I am showing in investing.com also. So you will have an idea, fair idea how to use this chart as well. So here you can see there was a pullback in the uptrend. Okay. And there we got this three black crows. Okay. You can apply some more indicators uh, to just double confirm in such cases. Let me show you. Just type volume. So in case of three black crows, you can take confirmation from volume as well. Okay. So you can see here three black crows candle form and also you can see the volume is a kind of high. Okay. And you can see the price went down. Okay. Okay, so three black crows generally not need any sort of confirmation like volume or something. If you see these candles, you can take an entry here and you can see first target, you got almost 10% of the target. And if you probably had waited, you would be getting approx 14% of the target with this. Okay, probably very few people is going to book this target. Mostly will exit the trade somewhere here. Also, if you want double confirmation with the rules, right? And the whole uh, training, I use the same uh, rule, right? you can use EMS so you can apply 211 or 101 EMS on this so just, so see here and you can see after this candle itself we went below the EMA and the price went so down right so you can use any of this this is additional confirmation which I have already been taught you in several of the videos. I mostly use some time uh, take confirmation on the EM and RSI for those candlestick which are not very strong. But for these candlestick, believe me, we don't require for these candlestick patterns. We don't require any sort of confirmation because they are very strong. If you see black crows, you can simply take an entry on this and you would be definitely getting a huge target on such cases. OK, so how you will take an exit here you can see there are many ways many 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 more ways to take an exit but in this training my whole agenda is to teach you entry and exit just based on the candlestick rather than there are so many ways to take an entry and exit in price action we learn okay so there are many ways to take an exit so here you can see you could be probably taking an exit because here the candles reversal candles are forming you can see at the bottom also if you want to take an exit you can draw demand supply for example let me show you how you can draw quickly so see what happened was the price was somewhere here we had shorted it so you can see what happened is whenever price went down here in this zone the price take a reversal see when the price comes down in this zone let me draw this so see what happens is uh, yep. So you can see previous time when the price came here, price came here, price came here, taken a reversal. See, price came, went up, taken a reversal from here, price went down, taken a reversal from here, price went down, taken a reversal from here. Okay. So here, right, if you are going to short it, probably the, these are the zones, these are the zones, this zone or this zone. You would be probably marking because here the price generally take a reversal you would be probably taking an exit so in the zone when the price comes based on the support and resistance or demand supply you would be probably taking an exit from here okay and you can see what happens after that price went up but again came here and it's broken this support over there and it went down and here it came to the new 
zone let me draw this for you there is one more zone has been created there was one old zone here okay so you can see price went down every time is what testing this zone and again it tested this and then the price went up and then price again went down okay and broken this zone so what would be probably the next zone the price would be going probably if you are waiting again you could be wait till here means based on the demand supply exit i'm speaking here okay there are so many way to exit one of them is this also right means you can see the price went up taken a support on this zone and see price went down let me change the color of this okay so price went up from here and see after that price is still moving in this zone and again price price came tested this zone somewhere here and moved up anyway so this is one way to exit the trade the another way which you guys will exiting the trade is using the candlestick because this module this training i am completely focused on to give you the idea how you will exit the trade based on the candlestick not on other any other thing okay so these are we I, I would be teaching to my candidates on the price action batch not here but because everything is step by step i can't make you a pro trader like me in one day but yes step by step i will try i will definitely able to make you so you can see the price went down price went down and here one hammer formed and after that i am waiting this hammer to be broken but not broken next candle went below this below this below this again one more candle formed here means this candle is again signifying there would be a reversal i am waiting here and you can see here some green candle started coming so probably here somewhere you would be taking an exit with a handsome profit okay if you want to wait you could wait because probably there would be a pullback then again it continues but based on the candlestick you would be taking an exit somewhere here let me show you one more example here you can see their price went up one minute yes price went up and here what happened it created not the very perfect one to see but it created three black crows and you would be taking entry when any candle opens below this so if any candle is going to uh, start below this so you can see one candle opens and it went up i'm not going to take an entry here i'm going to take an entry somewhere here and you can see there was a huge movement in the price there was a huge movement in the price almost almost 30 percent 30 percent you are going to get over here so that is a great movement in the price actually okay so this is how you would be taking an entry and exit and the three black crows pattern okay one minute okay and also if you want to use demand and supply see so what happened was somewhere here there is a supply there is a demand sorry there is a demand somewhere here because what happens is what happens is whenever price coming to this zone went up coming to the zone went up coming to the zone went up coming to the zone broken the zone and facing the resistance because support becomes the resistance right sometime broken the this particular support went up up again coming to this zone and see testing this zone same zone again right so based on that demand and supply possibly you'll be taking an exit okay and you can see after that the price price went up continuous up right so you can use demand supply as well you can use candlestick reversal as well how you will use candlestick reversal in this case let me tell you you can take an entry somewhere here right and see what happened price is just sideways possibly many traders can exit this trade because of the sideways somehow it given the target so this was confusing and it's hard to take an exit 
long exit is means you can't take more profit uh, on candlestick because the candles are not proper forming as a kind of sideways okay but if you use demand supply along with that which I already taught you in the module okay uh, price action modules also had been introduced right how to draw trend line how to use demand and supply right already had been taught right to you so that basic I am going to use I know this is not any zone this is neither demand neither supply there is a demand zone somewhere here so let me wait because every time when the price is started filling it always tests test its demand zone possibly so I would be possibly waiting till demand zone because this is a sideways for sure so in sideways I should not lose the hope though I taken the wrong trade because you should not take a trade on sideways but who knows right till here the market will go sideways till here somehow you would be taking the profit till here let's say here you taken an entry and somewhere here you would be taking an exit right because these candles long leg candles are uh, market have no directions right means you would be seeing like this is a sideways it right who knows right it could be a sideways but suddenly it happened sideways many traders can exit the trade if it is a sideways right but if because that's why I'm saying only candlestick is not sufficient to take the trade there are so many techniques we include with a candlestick and here if you include a simple technique called demand supply you will see the price is not in the demand zone but it's trying to test the de demand zone all the time see because price coming from see if you use demand supply so you know here is also one supply this zone is a supply zone right this zone is one of the supply zone there is one more supply at the top okay so this zone is a supply zone you can see is already been tested several times in the past so I am in the supply zone and in the supply zone so I'm just correlating it with this because we are about to complete the training so we should merge all this concept right so that's why I'm trying to merge the concept okay how I take the trade so I am somewhere in the supply zone in the supply zone I got three black crows and here somewhere is the demand zone so if I'm taking the trade if it goes sideways I should not scare because whenever it touches the supply zone any script it again moves back to the demand zone so see it what happens the same it went to the demand zone and again price went up and see what happened next let me give you the picture what happened next in upcoming days the same supply the same supply become the demand zone see price whenever comes here price went up price went up so same supply become the demand see price coming here went up price going there facing resistance okay and breaking it and went up so this is how demand and supply work which you already gone through right so you can combine more than one technique okay to take an entry and exit right if you do based on the uh, simple price action a simple candlestick because why I'm saying only candlestick is not sufficient here because first of all you are trading three candlestick right you are trading three candlestick three candlestick itself is a late entry so you are taking late entry then how you can expect more target or bigger target right you can't expect the bigger target it's not possible so how you are going to book the bigger target then you can apply demand and supply okay means you can apply the supply zone in the supply zone if you are trading you can hope the price should go at least near the demand zone then I would be booking my profit so guys I am concluding this session over here if you have any doubt and queries related to the real market live live market you are facing you can write me on price action support at the rate price action monk.com and also I would be giving an unofficial homework to you which you can share on this e email to me and I would be definitely responding everyone you know right who are getting responses from me so what you have to do you have to take uh, five scripts okay and in those five script you have to f apply demand and supply you have to apply demand and supply along with three candles along with three candlestick pattern and you have to give me this kind of snapshot three candles formed at the resistance or support and it given the target 
vice versa like if it form at resistance is given the targeted uh, means how you are taking an exit okay had you taken an exit based on the supply or demand had you taken so let's say here one candle form so you have to draw like this here you are going to take an exit i would be understanding okay he taken an uh, exit based on the demand zone if candles form here candle form here and let's say you are going to take an entry here okay so you are going to take an exit here because of supply zone or you are going to take an exit here because it's some let's say shooting star it's a shooting star candle right so based on that you have taken the exit so i would be understanding so you can share this with me i would be checking out this for you and if i find any mistake i would be highlighting and reply back on the same email to you so that you can correct yourself and you should not do losses in the market right so this is all about the things and also guys we provide a, a price action real training also you can write me if you really want a one to one uh, training with me and learn in the real time market live market you can write this mail so i can be in touch with you so thank you so much and have a great day